Now, how did Petra Martic beat Emma Raducanu? This is the tennis breakdown. Now, in my opinion, it comes down to three main reasons. First, the first serve of Emma Raducanu, the game style and variety of Petra Martic, and the ups and downs of a game style like Raducanu's. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down my opinions a little bit and I'm gonna show you one or two points to highlight those, those uh, key points on the breakdown over here with the Coach's Eye app. Super cool, let's get into it. Reason number one is the serve. Now, Raducanu's first serve winning percentage was only at about 54%. So that is not high enough in a game of small margins where it's important for you to hold your serve. So especially deep in that third set where she lost her serve, you do wanna to try to have a more reliable first serve under pressure, but also get off to a better start in each rally to increase the chance of you actually winning the point. Now, the more first serves you get in, the more points you typically win on your serve because the chances are in your favor, especially if you're a good server. Now, in her US Open victory, Raducanu did a much better job of consistently winning points on her serve and holding serve, and she was taken more advantage of those, um, of those scenarios where she got her first serve in and she was able to dictate early in the point. Now that brings us into the reason number two. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the breakdown on the coach's eye and I'm gonna play, uh, play a point for you just to highlight uh, Petra Martic's variety. All right, and we're gonna take a look at the game style of Petra Martic. And I personally, I just love watching her play because she has so much variety. So as you can see in this rally, she mixes in the, she mixes in the slice. She mixes in the drop shot. Now, and even though Ronald Counter won that point, it's a great way to highlight the variety that Petra Martic brings to the table. All right, and we're back. So as you can see, the variety there was just incredible. And that's why I love watching her play. So she has a lot of variety and a style like that can be really effective against players like Raducanu, who love being super aggressive from the baseline. But Martic, I mean, she consistently mixes in the, the slice, the drop shot, the high topspin. Like she mixes up the depth and just the variety. It's not just fun to watch, but it's really effective when you get Raducanu away from the baseline where she's so comfortable just unloading on that ball and where she's really aggressive uh, from. So again, the variety is super smart play and that's what makes it fun to watch. And it's a lot harder if you're an aggressive baseliner like Raducanu, who really enjoys being in the baseline, but if you're constantly moving up, back, and you have to adjust to different kinds of shots that make it more difficult to be aggressive, it's tough to really find your rhythm and your consistency with your aggressive game style. And that brings us to the third point. Now, before I do, Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button after watching this breakdown if you enjoyed it and if you want more of that. Uh, also check out some of the other videos on my channel where I, I show you how to level up your game and take your game to the next level. Now, the third point is about the GameStop Emma Raducanu. Now, six months ago, she took the tennis world by storm and it was so much fun to watch her play because she is a shot maker. Now, when she plays and when she's on fire, she is on fire and she makes shots. She doesn't make shots, she makes shots. And lows. So let's go ahead and play the point here and we can just see how amazing it is to watch her. And just take a look at Raducanu there, how she's trying to dictate play from the baseline um, as she's, yep, there you go. Now she's trying to take charge and be more aggressive with that. And her every ground strokes really key in how she won the U.S. Open. So super fun to watch her play and I look forward to watching her play even more in the future. But with an aggressive game style like that, a lot of times players like Vavrinka and Raducanu who, who have that really aggressive game style, those players, they might be on for a few points, a few games, or even a few matches, but it's often harder to sustain over the long run. So if you, uh, if you go back a few years ago, Vavrinka won a, uh, a Grand Slam in 2014, 15, and 16, but he never dominated the entire year. Now, he had good results, but after he had his, his peak performance, he often didn't have super consistent results in the rest of the season or for the following tournaments. So since her US Open victory, I think she won about four matches and she lost seven. 
So she didn't, Aguado Cano didn't have a whole lot of consistent results since her US Open victory. And I'm confident that she's gonna have a breakthrough again and she's gonna have some more great results in the future. But for right now, again, that, that shot making kind of game style, that aggressive game style is very prone to super high highs, but then also some lows throughout the rest of the season. So that's, I know she's struggling a little bit with her consistency and I'm sure we're gonna see that pick up in the future. But again, I think that's a really important aspect to understand though sometimes where she wins the matches, but she hasn't really found her groove or her consistency since then. And so again, a little bit of a, of a drought in terms of her results right now, but not to take any credit away from Petra Martic because she played a really, really great match. And I look forward to seeing her in action in her next match. Now, if you enjoyed this breakdown, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button and check out the next breakdown coming up later this week. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.